Wander Wealthy Podcast, episode 278. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another episode of the Wander Wealthy Podcast. My name is Tess Wicks. For those of you who are tuning in for the very first time, and this is the first episode ever, thank you for being here. I am the founder of Wander Wealthy, host of this show and financial coach turned business coach to support all of my fellow new aspiring and seasoned money coaches out there in the world. And this is my last show for a while, or last episode for a while, for indefinitely, I should say. Wow, that feels heavy. (laughs) This podcast has been kind of my ride or die. It's the thing that I am consistently consistent with every single week. And now it is coming to a bit of a close or a bit of an indefinite pause. The reason for that is I am going on maternity leave. Um, If you've been tuning in for the last several weeks or months, you've known about this and kind of this impending time away. And I'm taking a pretty Uh, I guess in U.S. standards, extensive leave of initially planned six months, although there is a high likelihood that it'll turn into around 10 months uh, because of just the way that my husband and I want to plan out our year and also daycare. Um, We have signed up for a daycare that does not start until our little one will be 10 months old. Funny thing is, maybe shocked you that we've already signed a contract and we don't even have a little one yet. That is how things work over here in Switzerland. Just some of the little nuances of these things. So with that in mind, you know, I feel okay about taking this prolonged and indefinite break uh, because there's so much content already here on the show. And I think If you listen to the last 100 or a little bit more episodes, you're really going to get everything that you need in order to start a strong foundation of building your coaching business. I feel like I've answered maybe not all of the questions, but so many questions uh, that have come up for me in my own experience as well as with my clients and also that I specifically teach on within my programs as well. I've addressed them here on the show. And then if you are looking for more support, we have programs for you over at wanderwealthy.com. There's the pricing formula that's really going to help you kind of get a get an initial idea of what coaching can look like and the pricing structure of that so that you can really see that this can be a sustainable and just realistic business for you to pursue and how you would price accordingly to make sure that you're keeping your financial goals and priorities in mind while also building this business. We also have the Simple Sales Masterclass, which is an add-on when you join the pricing formula or any of the other programs for that matter, you'll get access to that. There's nothing publicly facing about this masterclass, but just so you know, it's a 90-minute masterclass that takes you through all of my best sales strategies and just things to keep in mind when you are trying to sell a coaching offering. We have the client attraction content matrix, which is everything you would need to know about content marketing, whether you're planning to do that on social media or start your own long form of content creation like a podcast, a YouTube channel, or a blog. And then of course, we have the Coaching Framework Builder, which is my newest self-study program. Uh, It is jam-packed with everything you need to build out your very own signature coaching methodology and to really make sure that you're building it off of a strong foundation of understanding your ideal clients and selling something that is not only going to sell, but is also going to get results. I teach you the components of a actually impactful coaching program within that 
program specifically. And all of this can be found over at wanderwealthy.com. You can also find links to it from wanderwealthypodcast.com. And don't forget to check out the resources tab on wonderwealthypodcast.com uh, because there's a bunch of other kind of helpful tools that I personally use and recommend to my clients and I've linked them all up for you there as well. So with that, you know, I feel okay about kind of taking this <laughs> literal pregnant pause in producing new episodes because there's just so much already here available for you and I invite you to do some stalking, to go through the whole archive of Wander Wealth, the Wander Wealthy podcast, if you will, and to take what you need right now in building your thriving money coaching business. With that, I wanted to just, you know, take a little bit of time and share kind of what now for me, in case anyone is interested. You definitely don't have to keep listening if this does not tickle your fancy. Um, but just kind of share what's, what's happening in my world. So, you know, I'm going to be taking, like I said, for sure six months off, although it's going to be very, very challenging for me. I'm someone who has always had something going on and it's hard just to fully step away and not constantly have new ideas of different ways that I could turn literally anything into a business. So I'm really going to to try my best to embrace that. My husband will be taking his full paternity leave. He gets quite a lot of time, very generously offered through his employer. And he'll take some time in the beginning, but then he'll take his, the rest of his paternity leave, which is uh, about, it'll be about three months remaining after he takes an initial like month or six weeks off. Um, so like I said, very generous. He's going to take that over the course of next spring slash summer. And that would give me an opportunity to kind of get back into work before sending our little one off to daycare. But we will also potentially be traveling quite a bit during that time. And honestly, I always say this in business, especially like you, j- you, it's so hard to even plan more than three months out because so much can happen and so much can change that I'm not really making any promises to myself or to anyone around what's going to be my status and what my work life is going to be looking like by that time. But I am planning on potentially showing up in a new way and I will share more on that in a little bit. But I'm really honoring this leave to make capacity for family, for myself, for our new Bambino. And I know I just won't have the capacity to take on one on one business coaching clients in the way that I'd really like to support them. So that's really quite a large change considering the last uh, couple years have been fully committed to, not fully, but I, I would say probably. 80 to 90% of my business has really been on one-on-one clients and supporting them. And I love working one-on-one with clients. And I've even gone to doing group programs and then going back to doing one-on-one support because I actually prefer that. And uh, that is something that obviously during my maternity leave and potentially ongoing, I just won't have the capacity to support any longer. So that's a big update for me, a big change for me, but I also know that I've created the solutions in the form of the self-study programs that we have over at wanderwealthy.com that can take the place of a lot of that one-on-one support that I will no longer be offering. So again, if you're ever craving that, you can check out those programs there. For some reason, I'm feeling really compelled to mention for whatever reason because I'm kind of taking this step back. I don't want it to give any sort of message to anyone that if you have a baby and give birth, that there's any reason that you cannot do this work, that you cannot build your own business, that you cannot continue to offer and deliver the client experience and do the one-on-one coaching and do everything that it is that you want to do. I want to give words to that because I don't want that to be kind of like a, 
unspoken assumption that someone would make in observing my decision to really take an extended maternity leave and not take on any clients and also kind of be a little bit vague about what will happen after my maternity leave. Um, For me, it's more of a personal decision. It's one that I am able to make because of the support from the government of the country that I live within, as well as the plans that I've made with my husband and also the way that my business has been running up to this point. And I think that that's important to know is that, you know, if I wanted to go back to work in six weeks or three months, I absolutely could, but I'm making the conscious decision not to. I'm making the conscious decision not to have capacity to take on one-on-one clients and get back into work as soon as I think a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of people in other situations and in other countries especially um, are forced to go back into the workforce after giving birth and becoming parents. Um, So I just wanted to make that point is that I always talk about how amazing this business really is of building an online coaching business, especially money coaching. I mean, not only is it so fulfilling and impactful, but also the way that you can structure your work day and your work week is incredible to be able to work within the boundaries that you set for your life as well. And if that includes, you know, becoming pregnant and needing a maternity leave or not being able to do such a long maternity leave or, you know, having kids, having more kids, all of that stuff, it 100% is possible for you to do that. And I don't want, for some reason, I just like don't want anyone to take my experience and kind of like come away with their own uh, conclusion about what it is that I'm doing or what's going on here. Um, So yeah, I just felt that that was important to point out because it's, uh, I want to be very transparent that like I've made the decision to actually limit or completely take away the one-on-one coaching that I'm offering through my business for the foreseeable future, more so because I'm choosing not to have the capacity rather than like, I don't think it's possible. I do think it's possible. So with that being said, how will I spend my time on leave? I'll be honest, I'm a little bit worried and anxious and totally not sure. I don't think any of us can know what becoming a parent is going to be like until we become it and what especially like early postpartum and then Um, even beyond is going to look like, but it's something that I've worked with my therapist on before even getting pregnant and continue to remind myself of throughout this pregnancy as it relates to motherhood, life, career, is that I am a person who loves to make plans and live in the future. And I have a really hard time staying in the present and just taking things day to day. So for me, planning is almost an escape thinking about that next big thing and escaping today to make my way towards tomorrow or next year. And it's also not the most healthy thing for me. It's not necessarily unhealthy, but I personally, because I am, that is my default, I need to be more in the present. So I think that's also why, you know, a lot of my future plans of like what Wander Wealthy is going to turn into is vague because I have made a conscious effort not to get too far ahead of myself living in the future because that was something that really dragged me down prior to pregnancy. Um, And like I said, something I really had to work with my therapist on. So escaping too much can make me unhappy. I think it can make anyone unhappy. And my escape for a long time was like, planning and getting a little too far ahead. So that's another kind of thing that I'm just, it's, it's like an internal battle because 
I know I want to do something. I know I want to start thinking about what that could be, but I also know that that's one of my sort of character flaws, if you will. Maybe not character flaw, but like that's definitely something that is a thing that pushes you forward, but also keeps you stuck, um, which is really interesting. So obviously, the obvious things is that taking care of a new human being is my main priority during my leave. Uh, We'll also be taking advantage, like I said, of my husband's generous paternity leave and doing some travel to spend time with family since we don't live near them. We've been planning to purchase a home in southern Italy where my husband is from. And one of my favorite things outside of work (laughs) is interior design and kind of like dreaming up and here we go again, planning what a new space could look like. So many of the homes we've seen that we've looked at in Southern Italy would definitely need some work uh, in one way, shape or form. So that could become a new sort of job for me in in that time away uh, that I just won't get paid for if we can find something ultimately. And then something I've also wanted to do and has been in my head for a long time is to create a resource for my fellow, mostly American expats, especially those in cross-border relationships or families, and sharing interesting details about you know culture shocks, that I'll never get over from living in Europe or reverse culture shocks of when I go back to the U.S. Um, My whole pregnancy experience and giving birth in Switzerland, I find would be fascinating to document because I find when I'm speaking with my fellow U.S. pregnant ladies, uh, the experience is not necessarily super different, but there's definitely interesting differences that are there. And just documenting what it's like raising a multilingual, multicultural child in this world and, you know, potentially exploring some heavier topics around uh, mental health and life abroad and just different perspectives being in a different country. So I don't know what this is going to look like, Um, potentially a lifestyle-esque blog, if you will, or some form of video content. But it's just something I can see myself working on throughout my maternity leave as a way to kind of take time for myself and and get my creative juices flowing and feel like I'm putting in some hours of work in maybe a, a creative way through the digital world. Uh, but we'll see how that all comes together. If it does come to light, I'll make sure to share where you can find it on my Instagram. I promise. I know I've been very quiet on Instagram, but I promise I will give you an update. Um, And some of you might not care. Some of you may just literally be here for the money coaching stuff. And in that case, just keep listening to this podcast and all the episodes that have been uploaded, you know, since probably episode 160 about they're going to help you out. But if you are curious about me, Um, and some new kind of happenings, then obviously I will keep you all updated and let you know. I guess maybe these are going to be like passion projects that I'm going to be filling my time with um, while also, like I said, raising my new Bambino. So in the meantime, as I mentioned, there are ways to work with me during this time, in quotes, with me, uh, in the sense of checking out the Wander Wealthy programs All of them can be found at wanderwealthy.com. There's a little store button in the upper right you can click on and see and get into those. And that's sort of the update. That's the what now. So thank you for being either a first-time listener or a loyal listener of the Wander Wealthy podcast. I hope my ramblings weren't too much or too confusing for you. Uh, But I just wanted to kind of share an update and, you know, speak from the heart in this last episode, give you a little idea of, I guess, what things are going to look like for me, and then also guide you because this is going to be kind of the last episode you'll see uploaded for the indefinite future 
guide you to where you can get more helpful information and continue to be a student and get the answers that you're looking for, even if there aren't new episodes coming out or I'm not making you know new offers to work with me one-on-one. So wanderwealthypodcast.com is going to be your best friend. Check out the podcast archives and wanderwealthy.com for the program solutions that you need to build your thriving money coaching business. And don't forget, you can do this. I believe in you. This is an amazing, fulfilling career. And as long as you keep showing up, you're going to change lives. So go out there. And until next time, I hope you wander wealthy.